Hello man of word, we'd truly appreciate that you joined us. We are glad that we can support you in your further development. Today's topic is about mastering the art of negotiation. So, let's begin. Welcome to amanoford.com, the most refreshing network in the business world. Why should you watch this? 1. You will learn what it means to be a good negotiator. 2. You will understand the benefits of negotiation. And 3. You will learn how to become a better negotiation. In simplest terms, negotiation is a discussion between two or more disputants who are trying to work out a solution to their problem. Many people believe that negotiations are all or nothing, and that there has to be one winner and one loser. Nothing could be further from the truth. While the goal of negotiation is most certainly getting what you want, the fact is that the best deals, the ones that stick, incorporate terms and ideas from both parties. The main topics are, 5 reasons why negotiation skills are useful, 4 skills you will need to become a better negotiator, and 6 ways to master the art of negotiation. Let's see 5 reasons why negotiation skills are useful. 1. A negotiation mindset is beneficial with everyone from clients to employees. While the ability to negotiate is certainly an important part of business meetings and contracts but the benefits go much further. For example, negotiation skills can be invaluable when discussing the responsibilities an employee or new hire will have and can ensure that both parties understand exactly what is expected of the other. 2. Creates win-win situations. Opposite of what lots of people believe, negotiation skills are not about beating the opposition out of the other party. The best negotiators are ones who can create win-win situations, in which everyone walks out thinking that the deal is a good one. While the ability to aggressively get what one wants might seem like a victory at the moment, the reality is that the lack of goodwill generated by this can cause problems down the road. No question finding a deal that makes everyone happy is difficult, but this is exactly why it is so highly valued. 3. Good negotiating can improve your bottom line. Finally, the goal of a negotiation is to get the best deal possible for you and your company. In doing so, you are improving your bottom line. For example, if you can reduce your overhead by 10% due to effective negotiation, that money goes straight to your profit margin. 4. Ensures that you can walk into a negotiation confidently. Confidence is an important part of any negotiation. Walking into an important negotiation with the fundamental consciousness that you know what you're doing means you can focus on the deal itself instead of worrying about whether you're being defeated by the other party. Also, the ability to confidently make a presentation, as well as provide offers or counteroffers, has been proven to result in better deals. 5. Negotiation skills build respect. Respect is an essential part of the business. Your employees must respect you if you want to get the most productivity out of them, and it is just as important that vendors, clients, and anyone else you may be negotiating with respect you as well. The impression you transmit after a negotiation can have a lasting impression, which can impact everything from future negotiations to your reputation in your industry. Now, let's find out four skills you will need to become a better negotiator. The skills you'll need depend on your environment, your intended outcome, and the parties involved. Here are a few key negotiation skills that apply to many situations. 1. Communication. Essential communication skills include identifying nonverbal cues and engaging in expressing yourself. It is important to understand the natural flow of conversation and always ask for feedback. Active listening skills are also crucial for understanding the other party. By establishing clear communication, you can avoid misunderstandings that could prevent you from reaching a compromise. 2. Persuasion. The ability to influence others is an important skill for negotiation. It can help you define why your proposed solution is beneficial to all parties and encourage others to support your point of view. 3. Planning. To reach an agreement that benefits both parties, you must consider how the consequences will impact everyone in the long term. Planning skills are necessary not only for the negotiation process but also for deciding how the terms will be carried out. 4. Strategizing. The best negotiators enter a discussion with at least one backup plan, but often more. Consider all possible outcomes, and be prepared for each of these scenarios. Let's talk about 6 ways to master the art of negotiation. 1. Establish the relationship. A skilled negotiator sets the bond before proceeding further. Doing so allows you to get a feeling for the person you are dealing with. Though often ignored, feeling itself is an essential part of the negotiation. So, always be open and honest. Honor, honesty, and dignity are tangible qualities and the foundation of all constructive negotiations. You are best positioned to negotiate when the other party respects you, 
not only as a business person but as a human being. Trust, which is gained through that respect, is the key to successful negotiation. 2. Focus on the win-win. The only way to negotiate like a pro is to understand that both parts need to win something. If you approach a negotiation thinking only of yourself, you are a terrible negotiator. Understanding what everyone needs, and working for all people involved is essential. Keep in mind that seeing things as only win-lose creates limited thinking, creativity is essential to good negotiation. Ultimately, all people involved should find themselves on the same side of the fence. You want to be a player, not a pain. Keep your eye on the big picture and don't get caught up in the small stuff. 3. See the situation from all angles. Try to understand where the other person is coming from, try asking them to tell you about their needs and key concerns. It is extremely important to understand the point of view of the person you negotiate with. You have to understand how your deal affects in a good or bad way every individual. In this way, you will be more successful in your negotiation, and you will build trust because the other part will realize that you are trying to help not to fool them. 4. Embody your inner adult. Never forget that everyone has an inner adult and an inner child. It is remarkable to witness how even high-level business deals break down because someone at the table starts thinking childishly, instigating that behavior in others. When you see this happening, keep in mind that everyone goes out of balance. Be the stable anchor, the respectful adult at the table. Helping people come back into balance is often best done by example. Take the high road, embodying your inner adult. Don't argue, instead, understand. 5. Respect the rhythm of the relationship. Always remember that there is a rhythm to everything. Don't push it. Oftentimes, it is best to say nothing. Never forget that silent pauses can be a very powerful tool. Give yourself and others the time and space to reflect upon everything that has been said. Don't rush it. Try to sense the natural and appropriate rhythm of all the people at the table, including yourself. 6. Include more items to negotiate, not less. Another mistake lots of people make is not asking for more than they need. This is mostly done out of the fear that asking for too much might upset the other party and kill the deal before it ever has a chance. But usually, this fear is overblown, and only coming to the table with your deal breakers means that one or more of them will end up on the chopping block. Here's an example. If you're negotiating with your landlord to paint your apartment, ask for several additional, reasonable improvements, new landscaping, a new dishwasher, or new kitchen flooring. Asking for more gives you items to trade and wiggle room until you get to the make or break items. You'll be more likely to get what you want. Then again, there's always the possibility that you get everything you ask. Before the video ends let's find out which are the best things to remember from this. 1. Negotiation means a win-win relationship. 2. To become a better negotiator you need to build a relationship with the person you are talking with. And 3. A good tip is to always ask for more when you negotiate. Well, this ends here, let us know in the comments what is your opinion about the art of negotiation. Thank you for watching until the end and if you found this helpful don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell button to be notified for every new learning opportunity. And always remember man of word, be aware of the person that you can become.